Welcome in. Good, how are you? Doing well, doing well. Have a seat, jump in. We'll talk about the Piedmont Classical School. They told me you, maybe you came from the southeast area, right? Southwest. Southwest. Former cowboy. You leave behind all the Langley brothers and Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Smith, all those guys. But you come to Piedmont. How did you decide on Piedmont Classical School? Well, my parents thought like um, that it would be a better fit for me, like the class sizes and the stuff like that. They just wanted me to get like more class classwork attention, deeper in education. Yes. Has it paid off? You think? Yes, sir. What have you learned out there this year? Well, um, I learned a lot in biology. Uh, we just got back from a trip that we stayed overnight. We just got back today, actually. The biology class? Yes. Where did you guys go? We went to Hall River for a. Like environmental trip. Hmm. What all took place on that trip? Um, we went around. There was wetlands. Mm -hmm. um, we stayed in cabins. Wow. Oh uh, yeah, pretty nice. So you kind of scratched it out down there. Then did you do any uh, research project? Like uh, make any notes? Make any final reports on that while you were there? Yes. We're actually when we come back from spring break, we're supposed to do like papers and all that stuff on that the stuff we learn. Yeah. So that's your biology class, right? Yes. And you're in ninth grade. Ten. Tenth grade. Do you like the biology classes? Yes, sir. Who's your teacher there? Miss Coberson. Miss Coberson. Miss Coberson should get a good shout out tonight. Then. Yep. Get, give it her way. Yeah. Um, what else have you learned after this year? Um, logic class. I learned like logic way of thinking, um, the logic way of arguing. That's taught by Coach Free. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, give me Coach Free. Is he a lot alike in the classroom as a coach? Is he similar in both ways? Sort of. He doesn't yell as much as, as he team. does on the court, but um, as a teacher, he's a pretty good teacher. He breaks it down pretty well then. Yes. What have you learned in that logic class? I know it's about argumentation and about, uh, I guess, presenting your uh, point of view. What have you learned in that class? Um, I learned how to kind of, like, if someone's arguing with you, I learned how to, like, the logic way to come at them. Like, you don't want to just start yelling at them. You want to uh, present your argument to them and uh, just have, like, supporting reasons on. Give me a thing. This might be tough. I may be asking too much of it. Kind of kind of take what you, how can you take what you use in the classroom and take that to the basketball court? How do those two kind of go hand in hand? What you do in the classroom and what you do on the court, too? Well, on the basketball court, a lot of people, they will try to talk and try to get in your head, and you just have to, um, ignore them and just play your game. Mm -hmm. Like not let different things get to you. Do you ever get really frustrated in that basketball court and almost lose it? Um, so I have maybe once or twice. But you but picked up some pretty good self-control then. Yes. Yeah. Other things you've learned for Coach Free this year. I mean, you got Coach Free, you got Coach Cole, I think you got Coach Cobb, good coaching staff. What do you learn from those guys? Um, well, they taught me a lot. Well, um, they had me playing sort of like the four position. Like the four, and I've never really played that in my life. What'd you play before usually? Three. You're uh, using the shooting guard, yeah. yeah. With the small three. forward. Yeah, small yeah, forward. Gotcha. Two, three. Around there. Now you're playing the power forward, I guess. Yeah, that's where they had me this year. Um, but he is looking at recruiting some guys to come in that are a lot taller so I can go back to my natural position. You're a little bit stocky, you got a little bit of ability. Were you pretty good as a rebounder this year? Yes. Yeah, that's a good year there. Yep. Did, did you have a big center? Somebody said it was a big center over there this year. Yeah, his name is Jack. He was. Uh, he was 6'5", I believe, mm -hmm. and a good maybe 250. He's wow. A, yeah, pretty big. What were practices like? I mean, the, you guys had some battles in practice probably too, your team. Yes. Um, it was, we would, sometimes we would go back and forth, like, arguing. But, like, at the end of the day, we're all teammates. We're practices. Like, Where were you working out at for the practices? Where'd you guys usually train at? Um, the triad. Basketball Center, I believe. It's off of Wendover in Greensboro. Hmm, interesting. Well, I've got to find that location myself. Um, 22 and 6 this year. Do you see your team improving on that next year? Yes. What's it going to take to get this team better? Because you guys can't sit back and say, well, we went 22 and 6. We're automatically going to be next year, maybe, let's see, we're going to be about 26 and 2 maybe next year. What do you do to make this team get better and not be complacent? Well, we're going to just have to continue to keep working hard. Um, we. Like, we're just kind of learning each other this year, so we are going to um, just have to play together. Like, we kind of already know how each other plays, so we just got to learn to play together. So we got Mick Leak. Mick Leak is a sophomore. He's my classical school, right? Sophomore? Yes. And what else do you do besides basketball? Other sports? Yeah, I'm playing baseball now. Okay. What's that been like? Uh, pretty good. Uh, kind of a rough start. Mm -hmm. We are, I believe, one and four. 
Which everybody's learning though, right? Yeah. A lot of people have never played baseball. And you got Coach uh, Alley helping you out, right? Yes, Doing sir. a good job for you. Let's put a shout out to Coach Alley. Shout out to Coach Alley tonight. Good job on his part. What position in baseball are you playing? Um, I am playing third base. He has been working with me at pitching. So um, I am assuming that I'm going to be on the mound soon. Pretty soon, right? How's all that coming along for you? Pretty good. I used to play baseball in sixth grade, but I decided to play spring AAU, so I couldn't do both. Will you be doing uh, AAU this spring too, or maybe yeah. later? Yes, we've already started. Actually. So you can do both right now, then it works yeah. out for you. Yeah. Who's coaching your AAU team? Uh, my dad, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he. Um, it's a Piedmont Classical team. We have two teams, and uh, my dad is coaching. And that's Coach Leak, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's got a basketball background probably too, I would think. A little. To some degree, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you look at Piedmont Classical School. What do you want to do as far as your future goes in basketball? Do you see yourself playing beyond high school? Are you dreaming about that already? Yes, I would love to get a scholarship and be able to play um, anywhere. Any favorite college out there these days? Um, I, I, I'm a Carolina fan, but um, I've been looking at a lot of different schools. Um, I started a NCSA. It's a recruiting thing, and uh, he's been there's a recruiter guy. He's been telling me to look at different schools. Just trying to pick those out of interest. Any new schools on that map there for you? Um, not really. How about the Guilford Colleges, the Greensboro Colleges, yeah. guys like that? Yes, I would. Yeah, anywhere that's willing to give you a look. Scholarship. Yeah, I would be happy to go to. How has the transition gone, going from Southwest Guilford to the Piedmont Classical School? How's that transition gone, changing schools for you this year? Pretty good. There is, um, I kind of like the smaller class sizes because I can get the help that I need. Because um, some classes I do need like a little bit of extra help, and I'm able to get that. So the favorite class biology, right? Uh, yes. How about the uh, the hardest class? Maybe not the least favorite, but maybe the hardest class. English. English. That's been tough. Who's teaching that for you? Miss Staunton. Okay. And she's made it. She's made it hard, but she's made it workable, right? Yes. What have you learned in there this year? Well, we had to type a paper MLA format, yeah. and I've never done that in my life. Wow. And yeah, that was kind of hard. Are you a computer man, big time? A little bit. Do any research and uh, hit that computer some at night? Yes. How about your phone? Got the internet on your phone? Yes. So you keep up that. What's your favorite site you go by? Um, I check Bleacher Report, um, yeah. ESPN, those yeah. apps a lot. Gotcha. Bleacher Report, I've seen that. Ever been by this website called GreensboroSports.com? Yes. You've been by there, huh? Checked it out. Good deal, good deal. We talked about Coach Free, Coach Cole, Coach Cobb. What about Mr. Cardi, the AD out there? What do you think John Cardi? he's kind of the, like the, the governor, the president, the leader of this whole group. What do you think he's meant to this uh, organization, this school, Piedmont Classical High School? Well, he's helped us out a lot. He set up pretty much all the games, I'm pretty sure. Um, he, he has like all the balls and stuff. I'm pretty sure he's gotten all that stuff for us, and that's helped us out a lot. Jerseys, uniforms, all that stuff. All in all, it's been pretty smooth for you then. Yes. Good run. You got baseball going on now, basketball earlier this year. Do you play any fall sports? No. You don't plan to transfer out and go play football for one of these big top high schools, do you? No. You plan to stay with the Piedmont Classical School. Final thought or two for you tonight as we begin to close things out. What do you look to do for your future? What do you want to do before you get out of there? Some goals you might have in mind before you're finished up your time at Piedmont Classical School. Um, well, I would like to have at least two or three scholarships, uh, academic, uh, two for academic and two for basketball. Um, I would like to have at least a 3.7 GPA to graduate. And um, I would just like to just graduate. What do you, what's your GPA at right now? Um, I believe I have around a 3.2. To get 3.7. A's and B's mostly now? Yes. No C's. No. That's good, that's good. How about the shout out of the night? Who would you throw that out to? Um, I'd probably like to shout out, um, I just shout out Coach Cobb. Coach Cobb. Yes. Danny Cobb. Yep. Southern Guilford Storm or Southern Guilford. Might have been an Indian back in the day. I'm not sure back in the old days of Southern Guilford. Um, I may ask it, but what was the best basketball day you had in your entire life? What's been your best basketball day ever? Playing here at my Class School. That's been the whole big run. Was there one game in particular that you will never forget? Um, yes, we played Oak Ridge Military Academy. I had uh, 20 points. Um, I got three or two back-to-back -back at once. And um, 
It's like off of rebounds. I just jumped up and put it right back. Put it right back in the old stick back. Yeah. Any three point shots this year? Three point shooter? Yes. Um, a couple. Uh, not a lot because I was playing the four, but a lot of mid range jump shots. Well, Mick Leak, good to see you, meet Thank you. you. Keep up that good work. Piedmont Classical School, look for big things out of you in the future. Tell your dad to keep driving, pushing your heart, okay? Oh, well, thank thank you. you. Dennis White, I think, is next.